Welcome back to day five of our Being a Better Rider challenge. And so far we've done things like working with our horses on the ground and other things like that. Well, today we're gonna focus on something just for you and me that will really help us to be better riders. Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, Welcome! If you want to make the most of the time that you have with your horse, consider subscribing to my channel. Just click the bell notification below this video and you'll never miss a new video. For day five of our Being a Better Rider challenge, we are going to do an exercise. And it's not a hard exercise, I promise. This is probably one of the only exercises that I do just because it doesn't take very much time and I only have to remember one exercise. Do you have any idea of what that exercise is? It's a plank. The plank is one of the best exercises that you can do for core conditioning and it also works your glutes and your hamstrings. And when you're thinking about the extra benefits that are geared, in my opinion, just towards equestrians, the plank exercise will help you to improve your posture and it also helps to improve your balance. So these are both really necessary things. If we want to be the best riders that we can, we really need to have strong cores and the plank is probably the best exercise that we can do in order to become better riders. So starting today from the fifth day forward in the being a better rider challenge what i want you to do is on your calendar on the remaining days to get to 31 i want you to write down plank and then what you're going to do is you're going to do a plank exercise and you're going to time how long you can do it for so for example today i'll do the plank for 30 seconds so then on day number five next to the word plank i'm going to write down 30. So that way I know that I did it for 30 seconds. And then each day, hopefully the goal is to increase the amount of time that you're doing the plank exercise. Now there's a couple of different plank challenges themselves. And I found one online that I will have on my website, thebudgetequestrian.com. You can go over to my website and look at the plank challenge and see what that's all about. So to do this plank challenge, you don't need anything fancy. I would recommend wearing shoes when you're doing it. And I have a yoga mat, but you don't need one. If you have carpeting, that will work just fine. And then all you're gonna do is get into a plank position. You can do this from your knees or you can do it just like a board. That's what the plank is. I like to do it from my from my feet, but I'll show you on the knees too. So you just get on your knees and then down on your elbows. And the idea is to suck in your tummy muscles, like suck in your belly button, try to bring that up to your back and then hold that position. You can also do it up on your toes and you wanna be like a board. You don't want to scrunch down like that. You just want to stay like a board, stiff. And you hold it for as long as you can, and then you write down how long you did the plank for. Hopefully you can increase the amount of time that you're in the plank position, and maybe even get as far as like on that plank challenge where they're up to four minutes at one time. I'm not that far yet. I can get to just about two minutes. And even then, I'm huffing and puffing. But it is fun, and it's a pretty simple exercise that you can do without having fancy gym equipment or anything. And it really will help to improve your core muscles, which in turn will help you to be a better rider. And as a bonus today, I wanted to make some horse treats for my horses. So I thought I would share the recipe with you and show you how to make these really cool, they're kind of like cake pops for horses. And unfortunately they do have sugar. You probably don't have to add sugar if you don't want to, but let's go make some cake pops so we can 
get in shape ourselves and then make a treat for our horses. For the second part of the video today, we're going to make cake pops for horses. These are the things that you're going to need. A mixing bowl, some quick oats, some molasses, applesauce, bran, you You'll need some brown sugar, ground flaxseed, flour, some peppermint sticks, and my cake pop pan only makes 12 cake pops. I use the rest of the batter and make these cute little bran muffin horse treats, and on top of them, I just put a starlight mint. So let's make some horse treats. Started, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you're going to put all of your ingredients into your mixing bowl. I start with all of the dry ingredients first because it's easier. Then you add the wet ingredients, which would be the applesauce and the molasses, and the brown sugar. And then just mix everything together. It's pretty easy to mix. You can do it with just a spoon. You don't have to use a mixer or anything. And once your mix is all ready to go, then you just put it into your either muffin pans or your cake pop pan. And for your cake pop pans, take one of the peppermint sticks and just push it down in the center of each of the cake pops. You want to have a hole that goes almost down to the end of the cake pop because after it's baked, you will insert the peppermint stick into the center of each cake pop and that will give you your stick. Then you put them in the oven and bake them for about 30 minutes. And while they're baking, you'll want to get your candies ready. So take all of the candy sticks out of their wrappers and if you're also making the muffin treat, you'll also want to use the starlight mints and go ahead and unwrap those for the amount of muffins that you're going to have. So in my case, I had 20, so I have to open up 20 mints. And once they're done baking, pull out the muffin tin first. And what I'll do is pull out the muffins, cut a slice down the center and insert a peppermint. And for the cake pops, let them cool down for about 10 minutes before you insert the peppermint sticks into them. Because if you do it right when you pull them out of the oven, the peppermint will melt and you won't have a stick. So what did you think of day five? That was pretty fun, wasn't it? We got some exercise and we made some yummy horse treats for our horses. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Click on my picture at the end of this video to subscribe to my channel and I'll continue to share lots of different DIY ideas and horse videos with you. Again, thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.